Hello again Remodelaholics, welcome back to our DIY channel. I am Cassidy and today we are gonna show you how to make five awesome DIY Christmas stars. Today we have another build from our friend Krista who builds all sorts of cool projects for Remodelaholics and it will totally get you into the Christmas mood. But these five different DIY stars can be used at any time of the year so don't think it just has to be Christmas. Fourth of July would be great. Memorial Day, Veterans Day. Krista put her scrap pile to work to build these five stars and really truly they look awesome. You will never know. The first star uses pieces from the plywood pennant you've probably seen on our mantle in our other videos. These triangles are easy to cut and we had a few left over so this project only took about five minutes. Even starting from scratch it's quick and easy. All you have to do is lay out the five triangles in a star shape, overlapping the corner where the holes were for stringing the pennants. Working quickly, place a bead of hot glue on each corner to hold the star shape. Then finish up by wrapping jute twine around each inside corner. The result is a simple, natural wood star that will look great on your mantle or shelf. Stars like this are great for layering and add great depth for any vignette that you have around your house. Next, Krista made a set of three easy stars and it only takes one board. Cut an eight foot one by eight board in half and glue it together along the long sides. So you now have a board that is half as long but twice as wide. Once the glue has dried, mark and cut three equal squares. Measure and mark the center line on each square. Then dust off your elementary school math and your protractor. The magic number for stars is 36. Each point is a 36 degree angle. Along the center of your board, mark a line 18 inches from center on both sides because 18 plus 18 is 36, our magic number. If you don't have a protractor, measure two and a half inches from the outside corners along the bottom. Next, measure and mark a 36 degree angle from both bottom points of the star. If you're measuring, mark eight and five eighths inches from the bottom corner on each side and draw a line from the bottom points of the star. Finish it up by drawing a straight line across the open points of the star and give yourself a little pat on the back for doing geometry. Repeat that for each star and then use a jigsaw to cut out your three stars. Clamps are very handy for cutting with a jigsaw. The first wood star is the easiest. Paint a gold base coat and sprinkle gold glitter on the wet paint. Let it dry and enjoy the glimmer. The next star is an easy wrapped twinkle star. You'll use a set of battery powered LED lights and a skein of white shimmery yarn. First paint the whole star white, then wrap your lights around the star. Make sure to keep the battery pack at the back of the star as you wrap. Then start wrapping with your sparkly yarn. Krista recommends wrapping each point, then wrapping the middle. Rearrange the lights as needed as you wrap the yarn. The next star is inspired by this really beautiful pine cone wreath that our contributor Ananda shared with us last year. Who knew that pine cones and sprigs of green could look so beautiful together? To make this pine cone star, head to the nearest pine tree and gather up some pine cones in varying sizes. You'll also need some berry sprigs, either gathered or purchased, and a string of LED lights if you want. Stain one of your star cutouts. It's okay if it's a little blotchy on the stain since it's going to be mostly covered up anyway. Start gluing on the pine cones with a hot glue gun, beginning in the center of the star and working to the tips. Here's a tip, if you need smaller pine cones, you can cut off the smaller ends. Just snip it off to be the right size and you can use the larger end of the pine cone too. Once the star face is covered, tuck in the berry sprigs and glue them in place. Repeat for the string of lights and admire your handiwork. Next, we're on to the final of our stars and it's a big one. You'll be using your protractor again since measuring the angles makes it easy to make your star as large or as small as you want. On a sheet of four x four plywood, measure the center line, then mark 18 degrees in each direction from the center line. If you prefer to measure it out, mark eight and three eighths inches from each corner and draw a line. Measure a 36 degree angle from the bottom points or mark 28 and 3 quarters inches from the bottom corners and draw a line. 
Connect the final two points and a star is born. Sorry, I couldn't help the pun. Clamp your board and use the handsaw to cut along the lines to the inside corner. Then use the jigsaw to finish the corner and neaten things up. Now pick your best reclaimed wood slats and lay them out flat. Place the star on top and then trace the star. Clamp each cut piece along the line using a handsaw, miter saw, or jigsaw. Like a jigsaw puzzle, lay each piece on the plywood star as you cut it, then glue and clamp the pieces to the star. You can stop here or you can make the star shimmer. Krista did. Once the glue is set, spray the entire thing with glitter shimmer spray. You can also paint the backside red so it can double as a star for the 4th of July. And we all like things that you can use more than once a year. Am I right? Thanks for watching our star studded tutorial. <laughs> the cheesy puns just don't stop. They just keep coming. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and give Krista a thumbs up for her awesome tutorials on all five stars, which is awesome. We have a great Christmas collab playlist here and another playlist for Christmas trees. So check that out and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.